Welcome to the Professional Life Purpose Breakthrough. My name is Shaheen Jedian, a certified hypnotherapist and neurolinguistic practitioner, author of the book Finding Inner Happiness, an eight-step guide, president of Real You Holistic Self-Discovery Center, and director of Zoom Video and Photographic Arts. I've spent my years influencing thousands of people towards the path of self-discovery, towards a path of getting to know themselves on a deeper level to the point where you can rediscover dormant energies that have not been activated till now. For me, on my value list, the highest priority, the thing that ticks me the most is when I interact with people and help them rediscover or recover a dormant energy, a part of them that hasn't been brought to the world yet and I help them manifest it. And the greatest place where that takes place is within the profession because we spend so much time in our daily lives at work, career, professional purpose. And I think that it's so important to give that attention and to learn, to sort through it, to build systems, to be someone who really is aligned with the type of work that we're doing and to bring that out. And if we're doing a certain type of work, sometimes just changing positions or being in the right area at the right time at the right place within the work unit can make all the difference. But all of that is gonna be discussed today on how, how to take yourself and go to the next level with it, how to tap into the unconscious, how to go beyond the status quo, how to really build systems that carry the work for you, and more than anything, how to overcome the slavery to work and let the systems do the work for you so you can become free, the captain of your own ship, where you can actually receive and reap the benefits so that you can do what you want to do. Let's start off with the intro level, a live recording of myself giving a very special workshop in California to all those people who were seeking this wisdom. Let's go. Here's the basic flaw with the word career. The word career starts to kind of create this separate entity as if there is me and then there's my career. It's almost like there's me and then there's myself, the time I have with myself, and then there's the relationships I have, and then there's my career, right? So like, who am I in between? Is my career me? Am I part of my career? That whole separate identity that it gets created from this topic of career is part of the disease of us not being able to find ourselves. And I'm here to define how to locate that and how to combat that and how to really, really tap into finding ourselves. When you begin to think about the word career, we've already destroyed our identity about who we are. What we need to do is ask that simple question from our unconscious mind, which is, what am I here for? Why am I here? What is my singular purpose? Why did I come to this world to give to myself and to humanity? The problem is we get so caught up with trying to make it on an everyday basis that we never get to that point where we could be needless enough from our desires to just take and receive. We never get to that point where we can actually learn that, hey, there's this great satisfaction that I can have by being a giver. And what do I now offer the world? Let's take a look at some of the great successful people on the web. Let's look at Facebook, YouTube. Uh, those are two big examples on the web. They actually, these social companies, they actually have given the world a great gift. You can get on and connect with others for free. They happen to be also the most well-known people and financially well-off people, the people that were actually in charge of designing these systems. The thing they offer the world is everybody gets to hang out for free. So here we have something incredible to look into about how finding your purpose works. The way it works is the first step you take is you find a small way of offering yourself your talent that you've tapped into in a free version and you allow others to take part in that. What that does for a human being is that it exposes you to your own inner power, it unleashes you and it allows others to let you know that you're valuable and it allows yourself to see that you're valuable by the very fact of giving because when you are actually in the mode of giving you are saying I have the moment I begin to give 
I am also admitting to myself that I have. I have, therefore I give. I like to study languages. In the Hebrew language, the word ahava, which means love, actually has no definition called love. It actually means something else. There is no word for love in Hebrew. The word ahava is the closest thing that we can find, and the root of it comes from the word give. So you begin to love someone when you give to them because you invest a part of yourself in them. So who do you really love? Them or you? The answer is you. The only reason you love somebody else is because you have now invested a part of you in them. So you are now loving them, but really you are loving yourself because you are in them. You are part of them. You're invested in them. When we begin to find our true talent and offer it to the world, first of all, the way we know that our true talent is really true and is really our calling, the first indication of that is that you're comfortable enough to share that with others without necessarily getting something back right away because you know that the moment you're sharing it that moment itself is a reward that being unleashed is the reward itself that being able to actually throw yourself out into the world and know that people will catch you is the reward. So I'm just kind of giving an expression of what at least the feeling should be like when we know we've found what we want. This could be for some of us something we've already found and for some of us this could take a while and some of us can't even imagine this because we've never tapped into anything that we feel so good about that we feel that I'll throw myself and I'll, somebody's going to catch me. Some prerequisites before we can discover our true self, our true talents, who we are and how to tap into it and to be on the path towards this greatness. Prerequisite number one is self-love, self-care, which means to take care of ourselves, to be in touch with ourselves at a level where we know how to differentiate between self-care and selfish, where we know that self-care is different than selfish and we know how to define those. I'm not going to go into that today, but it's a fundamental that we need to tap into, and you're welcome to listen to some of my audio files or video files on iHypnotize.tv to get more information about that. But that's a fundamental. Number two, we need to come to that point. I will be following up with you in the near future with part two of the message. But meanwhile, what I want you to do is to take a moment and reflect on some of the teachings. You may also send me an email back for a complimentary consultation where we will meet with you to expand your workflow. Please visit irealself.com. That's www.irealself.com or call 323-680-4072 and ask for me directly. My name is Shaheen Jedian. If the teachings you're hearing today resonates with you, if it feels good as you're hearing it and the words just penetrate into your being, just imagine how much more you can accomplish if you had a daily guidance or something you could listen to when you want to get to that place where you can access yourself. I have it ready for you. It's an incredible recording of all the different secrets and techniques successful people are using to get to the next level. In this bundle, you can experience going through modalities, meditation, special techniques, how to break through with your imagination. You can experience systems, how to build them. You're gonna to learn to become so connected with that part of your unconscious that's literally infinite and takes you to places where your conscious mind is blocking. So take a moment for yourself and just go to irealself.com and order the professional life purpose breakthrough series.